What up, Love Club? This is your girl, She Loves, and I am here with a dark and twisted animation. This one's called True Jeff the Killer Horror Story Animated, and um, that's called Dark and Twisted. He also has a streaming um, a streaming service, which I think is Dark and Twisted TV, if I'm not mistaken. It'll probably pop up here, and also he has a book of his animated series, My Girlfriend Wants to Kill Me. Please check that out. Come on. So let's go. Introducing my very own animated horror streaming service, Dark and Twisted TV, with exclusive animated horror series for members only, featuring my girlfriend wants to kill me, her blood on my hands, and coming soon, the never before seen, my girlfriend wants to kill me, the prequel, which will show how David and Crazy Mary first met. Other fans have already signed up. Don't be left out or you'll never know how my girlfriend wants to kill me and her blood on my hands ends. Link in the description. Don't be left in the dark. Join today. Maybe you've heard the story of me known as an urban legend. But am I really just an urban legend? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Makes you wonder, huh? No. My skin is pale. My eyes so eerie. And even though most call me unattractive, I still walk around with a smile on my face. As you sleep alone in your room in the dark, I am the one who's watching you. Look at you just lying there so peacefully. But little do you know, I am the one who's watching you. There might be a sound in the middle of the night coming from your bedroom closet. But what or who do you think it might be? Could it be me just watching you? That's what creepy. about that sound that you hear outside of your window? Do you think it's just the branches scraping no against the glass? Think again. I wouldn't think that if there's no tree by the window. Unless the tree is on the side of the house, scraping the house. I wouldn't think that. If I see, if there's no tree over there, I'm not going to think that. <laughs> I am the one who's watching you. When you're alone in your car, and just because you've locked your doors, you think you're safe. That couldn't be further no, that's why from the, the truth, because even though you've locked your doors, you forgot to check the back seat. I am the one who's watching you. You don't see this man behind when you in the car. When you're at school, alone in the bathroom, it's not only your shadow that's behind you. I am the one. Watch you. Yeah, girl, Who am you should have been dead. My name is Jeff. Jeff the fucking killer. I hope you enjoyed. Now go to sleep. Hell the fuck no. <laughs> I doubt that. I was like. This whole time, now you were sleeping in your room, you wouldn't know that, but if you hear a sound in your closet and it creaks open, I'm not going to be the one to sit there and wait to see who pops out. I'm not going to do that. That's not, no. 
This one's hair. Here I'm out. If I have windows, right? And you have no tree by your window. You hear scraping. Tree. Now, you locked your car door. You do have a mirror that looks behind you. That you that you can see behind you can see behind you. If you don't see that man sitting behind you in your back in the back seat, you you deserve every ounce of what you're gonna get. Every ounce. You had to wait for him to school. I was like, he waited for you to go to school and be behind you in the bathroom. Was it mom? No. No, no, we ain't doing that. No. <laughs> if I feel any type of uneasiness around me, I'm like, mm, nah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do that. How long is this video? Come on now. Okay, so this one is called. Excuse me. I got a phone call and it saved my life. I think this is also by Wandy. Yep, by Wandy Entertainment. There go. This happened when I was working in customer service at one of the shoe brands. At that time, I was a hardworking woman. Actually, working in there was really easy, and I got promoted. I'm loving how he changes up his drawings. One day, my boss told me to work on the night shift because the one before me who got in the night shift was going to have a baby. So I replaced her since I was the employee of the month. Everything was oh, like you're gonna have to find somebody else. I'm not staying here night by myself. No Ooh. one was going to call this late in the night. And then there was one call. I thought maybe the caller was in a different city, so there was a time difference. I quickly got the phone, and when I was about to say hello, there was a woman's voice saying, Don't look at the windows. Go to the bathroom. I was confused. What was she talking about? Girl, do what she Excuse says. Excuse me, ma'am. I answered, and she said again, Hurry up if you want to survive. Her voice was just calm, and then she hung up. I was curious about what was going on here, so I glanced a little bit to the windows. You is dumb. You are stupid. You are stupid. Do what the woman says. I don't care if it's a stranger and all that stuff. She could be setting me up. I don't know. But if somebody's telling me do not look out the window and go straight to the bathroom, I might go. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to sit there and look out the window. I'm just going to go straight to the bathroom. Obviously, she's warning you behind. You don't feel no sign of urgency. You gotta be. Mm. Why? Why are people curious to figure out why they need to look out the window? Just do what the person says. And there, I saw a man with crooked teeth and long messy hair. He seemed like he was in his thirties. He was smiling and holding a butcher knife in his hand. But what I was really curious about was how he got inside. It was the fifth floor, and we all needed our ID card to enter the building. I was so scared that moment, so I didn't have any other choice, but quickly went into the bathroom and hid. But then, I heard a glass cracking sound. That man was breaking into the office. The good thing was, although I left my phone at the desk, I was wearing my Apple Watch. I quickly called the police so they arrived in a hurry. Then they found a butcher knife inside the building, but they couldn't find the guy because he ran away when we all heard the siren. Of course he's gonna After run away. That, I quickly quit my job and moved to another did. city where my brother works and lives. But what freaks me out every time was that woman's Why voice the face was on the moon that day. 
the voice still gives me the creeps. I never, never work night shift and go to that city ever again. Smart girl. Very smart girl. <laughs> Not gonna sit there and have to, like, if you're warning me, obviously you're warning me for some some reason. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, let me look out the window. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You tell me to go to the bathroom? Oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna fight this dude. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Not me. Um, but I do wonder who the lady's voice is. I wonder if it was a pregnant lady who worked night shifts and decided not to. And also, why was the weird looking through his face on the moving truck? Hmm. Well, guys, if you like what you saw, please check out Dark and Twisted and Trish. Dark and Twisted and Wandy Entertainment. I will see you guys later. Bye. This sound like what 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 this sound like